I just love the way you dress, Ross. I always have. My tailor, thanks you. You are so much more handsome than Senator Flynn, who doesn't <laughs> stand a chance. Mm -hmm. My campaign manager, thanks you. And I know that all the women are going to vote for you. My pollster, thanks you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, Max. Uh, no more for me. I'm driving. Uh, no. You're being driven. I beg your pardon? Some of your campaigners have hired a limo for you. You're kidding. It'll be downstairs in 20 minutes. A limousine? Well, 20 minutes is too soon. We were just starting to have fun. Max, am I wrong, or is my popularity starting to soar? Yes, I'll need a stretch limo with a full bar and a CD player. One night rental. Yes, thank you. Okay, I'll pick up it in five minutes. Why is this girl smiling? I just made our dinner reservations at Towers Club at nine. I don't know if I can make it. Was your idea? I know. Okay, I'll just meet you there. Gotta go in a rush. Ciao. Jeff's the person I've been looking for. Oh, hi, Dad. Uh, listen, I'm in, I'm in a row. No, no, this won't take long. Just I was curious as to uh, how that board meeting went. More details. Uh, like what? Well, like how did Nick take it all? Oh, uh, Nick left. I mean, I just went there to see Alan Michael. It's killing him. Yes, poor Alan Michael. Yeah, I think our little heir apparent will be joining us very soon. Dedicated as you are. I suppose you want an exact figure. <laughs> no. I mean, you are smart and you're honest and, and you're a whole lot cuter than Dan Quayle. I'm a better speller. Yeah. I just wish I had his handicap. <clears throat> he had the handicap? Dan? Hey, Dean, I'm talking about his golf game. Well, what's wrong with it? Nothing, Nadine. You see, handicapping, that's a form of scoring whereby you. Well, never mind. You know, Ross, a lot of senators have become vice presidents. Presidents, even. <laughs> I think we're getting a tad ahead of ourselves here. President Marler sounds pretty good to me. And I'm flattering, Nadine, but uh, you may be a little prejudiced. Well, of course I am, because I know that you are the best man for the job. <laughs> and I can testify to all your attributes. <laughs> I'm not sure your husband would find that that interesting, though. Besides, that's all behind us. Ah, uh, but your future is ahead of you. And I think all the women of this country should be standing up for you. We're doing whatever it is you want them to do for you. The, fa the fact is, uh, in the past, women have cost me an election or two, so my best course of action is to give the ladies a very wide berth. Max. You, you know my mom, don't you? Miss Lindsay. Sure. Okay, um, when she gets here, could you make sure that she gets this? It's very, very important. She'll get it. Thank you, you're a dear. You're welcome. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I love babies more than anybody, but when you're confronted with the entire nursery of St. Luke's Hospital, class of 2010... Oh, and they expected you to kiss all of them? Oh, yes. <laughs> Each and every little cherubic face. So, after 20 minutes, I was all puckered out. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that about you, Marla. What can I get for you? Scotch. Baby, and don't be stingy. <laughs> what? Garbo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Someone joining you? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. You have such a strong jaw. Hey, excuse me, Ross. You mind if I uh, talk to my wife for a moment? No, <clears throat> of course not. Uh, really? Besides, I have a limousine waiting for me to whisk me away to home. Good evening. Nadine. See you real soon. Yeah.